Welcome to the Intron Series NT5000 Managed Industrial Ethernet Switch video series. In this video series, you'll learn how to use some of the most important features in the NT5000 to connect securely to your industrial data. Mike Willett, Application Engineer, and myself, Technical Business Development Manager, will walk you through the user interface from initial setup to troubleshooting and tightening down security. Unmanaged switches like our Intron Series 100, 1000, 300, 300-N, 300 500, and 500-N offer no security features, making our NT5000 managed switch a great upgrade from any unmanaged or monitored switches. And it's built on Intron technology, so you can drop it right into any existing Intron network or most other networks with little to no configuration. Now, I say no configuration, which is possible, but not recommended. Managed switches work best when configured specifically for the network in which they operate and each network is unique. So be sure to check with your network administrator for proper configuration parameters. Now the NT5000 is a managed Ethernet switch so what does a managed switch offer us that an unmanaged switch does not? Managed switches offer troubleshooting tools which make it easier for us to pinpoint an issue when one does manifest in the network. Also you have more tools available for you to increase security in your network using managed switches versus unmanaged switches. So to better understand how a managed switch allows us to increase security, let's take a look at an application diagram where an NT5000 Ethernet switch is used in two different process lines. And so here we can see two different process lines, process one and process two, connected together via a Ethernet cable. And each process line houses multiple different industrial devices. And then process line one is redundantly connected to the aggregation switch, this NT24K at the top, which connects to the SCADA and the IT department. So in this scenario, this application diagram, all devices are able to communicate with each other, but we want to lock our Ethernet switches down and the communication down. So we might use multiple different features within the switch to accomplish that. So we might use user privilege management, which would allow us to make sure that the user that logs into the switch has access to the features required to do his work and nothing more. So you may have users that log in who have read access only and others that have read write access to the switch. You may want to offload authentication uh, for logging into the switch to a radius server. You also may want to make sure that the devices, the end devices that are connecting into each one of the ports matches the fingerprint that you expect and port security can be used to do that. Additionally, you may want to segment portions of your network to keep like traffic in a confined space. VLANs is a good way to do that. So you could implement 802.1Q to create different VLANs to ensure that traffic stays within a, a layer two broadcast container. The NT5000 is also easy to set up and manage using the web user interface. So let's take a look at that. So when we log into the switch, we can see the logical view, which gives us a good representation of exactly what the switch looks like in the panel. We can also see the event brief. So if there's any errors or warnings, we can see them right here on the dashboard. And then many times in a network, when it's bandwidth related issues, port traffic is gonna show us quickly where, where the problem lies, either transmit or receive. The web interface is only one way to manage the switch. You can also use the NView2 configuration management software to discover your switches. So you could deploy your switches in your network, use this tool to discover them, change the IP address to what you want them to be, and push the most current firmware to them all using this tool. Not only that, you can also use this tool to schedule those firmware updates at a time that makes sense to you. You can also use port counter information located in the NView2 stats to troubleshoot issues. So we mentioned at the very beginning this is, that this is an industrial switch. So if we're looking at the industrial features, you'll see this is right in line with the rest of the Intron series switches. So we have a wide temperature specs, redundant inputs for the power supply, high shock and vibration, very fast boot times, and then we have that configuration alarm contact, LED, and then the ESD and surge protection, all making this an industrial product ready to go into your industrial application. So next we're gonna apply power to the switch and we're gonna get started with setting the switch up.